Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the end of season eight of NBA 2K22, my team. With that, we also have, you know, season nine that is going to be starting very, very soon here in this game. Okay, now season nine, obviously going to be the final season. And we got something yesterday that I think none of us, I mean, like, I feel like we all expected it, but none of us expected it. And that was the end game and invincible packs. Now, honestly, these invincible packs, there's legit zero reason to open them. So uh, I honestly highly recommend just not opening these. There's legitimately zero point. None of these cards are going to be good. Like literally, like th there's like seriously zero point. So do not open these. If you guys, for whatever reason, are going to open packs, I would definitely do these and get yourself almost virtually the guaranteed dark matters that do come out of these packs as you guys can tell here we open up one pack it is a dark matter and it again is virtually giving you a guaranteed end game which is absolutely crazy um but yeah so with these packs though guys okay we're gonna get a power fart and we get scotty barnes probably one of the worst ones but anyway um you know we have like i said we have one more season actually we pulled the hollow that's pretty cool um but we have one more season here in this game right so one more season left, you know, what are we going to be seeing in season nine, right? Like what are we going to be looking at now last year in season nine? If you guys don't remember, we actually ended up getting a very, very interesting update into the game here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and pull it up. Originally I wasn't even going to, but I feel like for this video sake, it does kind of make sense to kind of talk about what we are going to be getting, um, in this final season. So, uh, let's see, going back into the final season here this is what we ended up looking like in the very last season of my team okay dr j i believe was the level 40 reward which is a 70 hall of fame badge um invincible now this honestly this dropped guys in july okay so our final season last year actually dropped in july we are actually are obviously in the season of or in the uh you know month of august here so obviously it's a lot later into the year all this stuff dropped where these were invincibles and everything. We ended up getting a few promos. Um, and that was basically it. Like that was, I mean, like we're, I was still hoping we got something like this where we did see some type of spotlights, you know, something to drop. A anything would have been really great. But um, yeah, final drop of last year looked something like this where it did feature invincible Stockton, Isaiah Thomas, and Chris Paul. Now you guys got to remember last year, when it came to the GOAT cards that did drop in last year's season, we did get, again, you know, we got five GOAT cards, okay? That was it. So we only got five GOAT cards, and with that, like, that was it. These were the top tier cards, 74 Hall of Fames, you know, 99 everything, cool. This year, we obviously have 80 Hall of Fame badge cards, 99 everything, all sorts of stuff like that. So going back into my team here, what are we going to be seeing again in this season? Now, first things first, Community poll, you guys can see here, it says, which of the following players do you like the most? We have Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Brian Scalabrini, Boban Marjanovic. Now, the problem with this poll right here, guys, is that everybody is just going to spam this. They're going to do this, and they're going to go, and it's going to click it. It's going to go in, and boom, it's going to select Magic. So, kind of sucks. I was hoping for a little bit more of a variety because I do believe that this poll is going to be for the level 40 reward in season nine. Like, I think that's going to be what season nine is. I think we end up getting, obviously, one of these guys. And I was honestly hoping it was Brian Scalabrini. I think that's something that'd be pretty cool. Um, but again, it is what it is. Nothing really you can do about it now. But I do think because Magic won, I do think we are either going to be seeing, obviously, a Magic Johnson or a Larry Bird being that level 40. Now, that does not mean that Boban and Scal are not going to be other rewards because we do obviously have a ton of other game modes and everything. Now, do I think they update Triple Threat? Triple Threat goes all the way up to 2,000 wins. I don't think that they do this. I don't think that they update Triple Threat. If they do, I mean, cool. I don't really think it matters, though, to a lot of people. No shot. They add in another domination. There's literally no way. They gave us a free end game already. Cool. No way we get another one. Um, now the online game modes, first things first, unlimited. Okay. I have not touched a game of unlimited. I don't know about you guys. I've not played unlimited since like season, like four, maybe like something like that. Like, I just don't like this game mode at all. I don't like skill based ever since skill based got introduced. It ruined my experience. Cause all I do is play up against 250 K qualifiers and it's not fun. Um, but, uh, yeah. So with unlimited, I mean, we did see Grant Hill. Great Hill, I mean, cool, but we need to see an end game here, obviously, and I think we're going to. I think we're going to be getting an end game on Triple Threat Online. I think we're going to be getting an end game for the draft mode, clutch time, and I don't know what they're going to do at Limited. 
Uh, and the reason why I say this is because they fumbled this season's limited so badly by making this seat like this, uh, you know, limited a uh, an invincible pack. I don't know why they would do that, but they did. And it really made it really pointless. I'm not going to lie. So I'm hoping that there is some type of thing where it's a weekly thing, maybe where like every week you get an end game pack or something like that would be cool. If they can even manage that, like that would be really, really nice. Um, but as far as content goes, guys, I don't know if this is it. I mean, these two packs are here for the rest of the year. Maybe we see another drop, maybe one last drop. I, I don't know. I, I really have no idea. I don't know if 2K just says, okay, well, that's it. You know, a month, you know, a month left in the game and that's going to be it. It'll be interesting to see because I mean, if this is the only content for the next month, like this is going to get pretty rough. I won't lie. I mean, there's really no sniping videos you could do anymore. You know what I mean? Nothing on the auction house has value. Um, there's really no, you know, MT, like there's no tip videos that can be made. You know what I mean? Like as far as making MT goes and all this other stuff, like there's really nothing you can do that is left in this game. In my opinion, like there's, there's no content. There is literally none. There's no gameplays that are going to be done. I think the only thing that is left to do is maybe squad builders. So I don't know. You guys let me know down below what you guys want to see the rest of this year. I still do plan on doing streams where I give away stuff for you guys and everything. Cause Honestly, at that point, I don't know what else to do. Like, I really don't. Like, this year is kind of tucked, you know? So, I don't know. It'll be interesting. But, yeah, Season 9, I think we obviously are going to be getting a ton of end games, But definitely expect either Bird or Magic to be those guys that we do see. And we actually pull a Taco Fall. That is a W. Wow, that is actually a massive W. I won't even lie. I saw Center and I saw the... Um, the uh celtics and i got a little confused now the reason why that is good is because um taco fall actually is one of the only cards that still does hold value so i'll take it not bad not, nice little free end game pull or not well i don't want to say free but nice little free you know good chunk of mt pull i guess you can say um but yeah i'm hoping that what we do see in season nine as well guys is a lot of locker codes i'm hoping we see just a lot of content that they can make super easy like they can make you know locker codes and stuff like that on the fly so i really don't see the issue with them like not being able to make locker codes and stuff like it really wouldn't make sense you know what i mean like i genuinely feel like at this stage like even with i've been talking about this on stream with how easy it is to make end games like why not you know what i mean i don't think anybody will care at this point as long as we're getting some type of content like Give us something to be able to, you know, I'm not necessarily saying even open packs for it. Just give us like new players to grind. Like, and when I say grind, I'm talking like, okay, play five triple threat games and here's your card. Like something like that. You know what I mean? Just like give us something to do. Don't just completely leave us empty for the rest of the year. Cause that's really, really going to suck in my opinion. Like that, like think about it. If we had nothing to do the rest of this year, what are we going to do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just going to be interesting. So I don't know. You guys let me know, man. Like I said, what videos do you guys want to see moving forward? Um, I, I really don't know, man. I, I really, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. There's still a lot of cards we need too. Like I said, like Bull Bull, Manute Bull, uh, like Joel Embiid, Paul George, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook. Like there's a lot of people that could still get cards in this game that, you know, like I don't even think Westbrook has an invincible. Like, which uh judging by this menu i really don't think he does so like you guys see my point that there's even some players that don't even have invincibles that could still get some i mean it took us forever to finally get a Kyrie, and yeah westbrook doesn't even have an invincible so like there are still cards we could you know we need in this game but it'll be interesting to see what they do so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed just a quick little like you know i don't want to say rant video but just a quick little video kind of talking about season nine man what are we gonna get what are we gonna see i don't know it'll be interesting to say though but either way thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed let me see what we get man we just pulled taco fall can we go back to back it is gonna be a shooting guard from the and it is good old jr smith man the man the myth the legend that literally has zero value but yeah that's gonna do it guys love you guys peace if you guys need anything that has to do with online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA 100% legit and reliable. So be sure to click that link in the description and hit them up now.